together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm. Do you see it? Square! Well done! What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Square! Fantastic! What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm. What shape do you see? Square! Yes! Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make square our special shape of the day. Let's look for squares on Animal Island. Let's look for squares inside the treehouse. Let's look for squares, like this. Do you see one? Yes! I see one. Do you see it? Right! Let's look for one more. Let's look for more. I see one. Yes. Let's look for another one. Yay. Let's look for one more. Glad 
we got to play together. Let's look for squares. Do you see one? Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is purple. That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay! Here. Here. And here. Splendid! Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea. Okay! Here. 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 And here. Great! And what's left? Two red shapes. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy. It's story time! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Hippo Wants to Dance. In this story, Hippo wants to dance. Will any of the other animals dance with her? Let's find out. Let's begin. Hippo Wants to Dance. Written by Marisa Stein and Sam Beck Bessinger. Illustrated by Megan Andrews. Hippo wants to dance. She jumps up and down on the dusty ground. Thump, thump. You're getting dirt on me, says Snake sleeping in the sand. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She rolls into the river and splashes her arms and legs. Splish, splash. You're making me wet, says Kingfisher, hunting for her breakfast. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She twirls around and around in a field, kicking her legs up high. Swoosh! Swoosh! Be careful! You nearly kicked me, says Meerkat, bathing his babies. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She flops into a puddle of mud and slides around on her nice big belly. Squish! Squash! Why don't you stop dancing, asks Donkey, carrying his buckets. 
Why can't you do something helpful instead? Hippo is sad. She is too sad to dance. She sits on a rock and cries. The tears roll down her cheeks and fall on the ground. Plop, plop. Grasshopper hears Hippo's tears. He starts dancing around her feet. Hop, hop. Hippo and Grasshopper start to dance. The other animals come to look. And they all dance together. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing, too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! And cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two! Speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One! One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! Thank you for singing with me. And thank you, too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too! Let's all play the alphabet game When I show you a letter, say its name Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? R! What's this letter? D! What's this letter? B! What's this letter? P! Now let's do it fast! B! B! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name! Woo! The letter P! <laughs> Pizza! Pizza! Pig. 
That's me. Pants. P -p Pants. Panda. P -p Panda. Pencil. P -p Pencil. What letter do all these words start with? P! That's right, the letter P. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird If that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring If that diamond ring turns brass Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass If that looking glass gets broke Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat If that billy goat won't pull Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull If that cart and bull turn over Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover If that dog named Rover won't bark Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart if that horse and cart fall down You'll still be the sweetest little baby in town mm -hmm.